Today, I am very excited to be ranking over 100 Nintendo Switch games from the absolute best to the, well, the absolute worst. I am on tiermaker.com and they actually, someone has already pre-made this for me. They have a very great selection of Nintendo Switch games, over a hundred games here that I will be ranking all the way from SSS tier, the best, the cream of the crop on Nintendo Switch, all the way down to FFF tier, the absolute worst. And if you watch this channel regularly, you can probably already <laughs> expect what's gonna be down there. Now, to the credit of whoever made this list, you did a great job, but there is a bunch missing and I've pulled those over into my Photoshop here and at the end, I'm gonna throw those on the list as well. So if I end up missing one because of that, it's not my fault. <laughs> Today's video is not sponsored by anyone, thank goodness, so I do want to thank my Patreons who I don't get to thank enough, and I want to really quickly sponsor myself by mentioning something that I haven't mentioned in like a year. I, I have merch, <laughs> I'm sure like none of you know that. Up on pixelempire.com I have had beat em ups mugs and beat em ups shirts. We've got a Mario Odyssey version of me on a shirt, a beat em ups Mega Man version. Personal favorite is just my logo on this nice green, warm, comfortable sweater. Green, it's gray. <laughs> anyway, if you wanna buy some of my merch, I'll leave a link down below. Okay, well I think we should definitely get the obvious ones out of the way first and put Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey in the SSS tier because they are the absolute best Nintendo Switch games. They are untouchable. Like, I don't think, I don't, I mean, I'm not sure. I haven't gone through all of these yet, but I don't think we're gonna be adding anything else to SSS. And I'm looking for one, two Switch to add that to the lowest of the lowest tier, but I don't see that on here either. So we're gonna have to one, two Switch. Here, let me add this really quick. Yeah, we'll, we'll work our way back around to that later. <laughs> Dragon Quest Builders is absolutely an S tier game. Fell in love with that game on the Switch. It was the first game that made me do a video called I am addicted to this switch game Pokemon let's go Eevee I would say that's a a plus I love that I can see let's go Pikachu on here I was gonna do a, a donkey and put it down in F tier all right I don't want to pick and choose I'm just gonna work my way down from the start Hyrule Warriors yeah that's like a B it's nothing amazing oh smash how did I forget about Smash? Yeah, that's a triple S. Damn, well, I mean, I was wrong. Look. <laughs> oh, Stardew Valley is another S up there with Dragon Quest Builders. That's, it's just one of them games that's dangerous to have portably because you can sink so much time into it. Um, World of Final Fantasy, I mean, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's it's a good game. Adventure Pals. A lot of these that they put on this list are so random. Like, I can't believe they forgot Super Mario Party, but Adventure Pals is here. I mean, that's... It's not a bad game, it's like C, and then same with that as C. Arms, arms, arms. Uh, it's not as bad as 1-2 Switch. Like, we just imagine 1-2 Switch is in triple F right now, but arms is, 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 oh, okay, it's not that bad. It's a D, it's not that bad. Astro Bears is pretty good. Um, I can't, I can't put it in B. It's a, it's a, it's a great game that's worth the five bucks, but I can't, I can't put it in the same tier as World of Final Fantasy. Axiom Verge is pretty good too. Um, it, I, yeah. <laughs> this is where I say these are just my opinions, by the way. Feel free to leave yours in the comment section or even make your own video. I, I actually, I looked up, I'll do it again. Nintendo Switch tier lists. I did see a channel called Nintendo Talk ranking every Nintendo Switch game. There's no way he did every one in 15 minutes. Oh, you did the exclusives. Okay, let's, let's, come on. That, I'm doing 100. Pick up your game. <laughs> it's not every. Oh, Jams did one. He did exclusives as well, so... I mean, there was a couple out there, but I was surprised that no one else did this. Uh, Battle Chasers Night War is pretty good. I feel like I've dug myself into a hole here. I, I kind of want something between B and C. Oh, I can! <laughs> we're doing... We're doing not quite B, but def not C list. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we'll move these up into there because I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's better. I didn't know I could do that. Uh, Battle Chef Brigade, that's an A in my opinion. I love that game. Bayonetta 2 is also an A. Bayonetta 1 is also an A. Actually, I feel like they're, they're even an A plus for me. Blaster Master Zero, now look. Blaster Master Zero in its own right, I probably put it up here in the not quite B, def not C, but just because that game released on the eShop and 3DS at the really early on in the Nintendo Switch's lifespan and was played a huge key role in making the indies what they are now on the Switch. Just for that, 
it's gonna get one one extra tier boost. Blaze Blue, yes, yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty it, it's a it's a really good fighter. Let's go B. Oh, and if any of you live in or near or around Houston, Texas, I'm gonna be there this Saturday at Retro Palooza Houston. It's gonna be a great time. Please come and say hi. I haven't played Bleed. I actually have never heard of Bleed. I don't feel qualified to talk about Bleed, so we're gonna we're gonna put Bleed down here. Castlevania Blood Moon. That that my friends is an A. That game is great. Blossom Tales is another B. Brawl Out ain't no smash. Gets a C. Celeste is up in triple. Uh, double S. Double S. Double. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to excite all of you. <laughs> uh, that's up in double S. The Crash Port is pretty. Good. Oh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer is really good. I'm probably gonna give that an A. I'll give I'll give it an A. Dark Souls is a fantastic port, actually. It looks great, it plays great. I'm not a huge fan of the game, but it's a quality port and it's a good game. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, Darkest Dungeon is a really good uh, indie game, actually. Dead Cells is also a double S. That was another game that I was very addicted to and they released a bunch of DLC, free DLC for it the other day. I downloaded it and I'm very excited to check it out. I haven't got around to it yet. Um, I haven't played that one. Uh, Don't Starve is pretty good. Donkey Kong is overpriced. So whatever tier I'm gonna give it, I'm knocking it down a tier just for that. It is a port of a Wii U game that all they did was add in one character that essentially ended up just becoming an easy mode. It, I love Nintendo, but this whole Nintendo Switch tax thing, that bumps you down a tier. Regardless. Having said that, it is, in my opinion, the best Donkey Kong game ever made. It is absolutely gorgeous and a shining example of what a platformer should be. So that's an S tier. Except Switch Tax, bum 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 bum, pushes you down to A plus. So close to the S Nintendo. Maybe if you just um remove that Switch Tax, you you'd be doing better on this tier list right now. Doom Port shattered expectations of what was possible on the Switch. Also, I just love Panic Button and I love that game. So Oh, do I give it an S though? No, I'm gonna give it an A, but it's great. I was ecstatic when uh, Dragon Ball Fighters came to Switch. That's also an A, another stellar port of a fantastic game. Earth Wars for $5 is a absolute steal on the Switch. Oh, Enter the Gungeon is an S for me. That's another one that I don't think I did a video about how I was addicted to it, but I was for a while. That is all I played on my Switch. Great game. Fire Emblem Warriors, I have to rank at the same level as Hyrule Warriors. Flint Hook is another uh, really, really fantastic indie game. It's not quite up there with the A the A list indie games. It's on the B list as well. Oh, Golf Story is still, I think, the only exclusive indie game on the system until I guess Cadence of Hyrule comes out. So for that fact alone, it get it gets boosted up one tier, and I would honestly put it I think in in oh in I would put it in A plus. So I think, but by my logic, that boosts it to an S. Hollow Knight. Oh, there we go. Thrown up there in the double S. The triple S tier that I have might only be one step above, but we only have three games in that right now, and one tier below in double S, all three of those are indie games. I mean, that really says something, not only about the quality of indie games nowadays, but also just the dominance of them on the Switch. Haven't played that one, let's throw it down there. Hyperlight Drifter is fantastic, that gets an A+. I Am Setsuna is fantastic. It would get an A+, but because it never got a physical here in uh, America or anywhere outside of Japan, I'm just annoyed at it and I'm giving it an A. Iconoclast is another great game. Um, either A or B, I'm gonna give it A. Enter the Breach is an A. Oh, and Kamiko is getting the same treatment as Blaster Master Zero. Whatever I would rank it, I'm gonna boost it up one because that $5 indie game, again, really early in the Switch's lifespan, I would probably give it a B on a normal day. It's a great game. Again, it's just five bucks. It's a budget game, but I'm gonna give it an A. Is that above Blaster Master Zero now? Wow, it is. Nah, we can't have that. It's a B. <laughs> Kirby, again, oh man, Kirby loses a tier just for being so overpriced. That game was like five or six hours long at best. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't love Kirby, man. I really didn't. I'm sorry. Uh, like I'd probably give it a B and then with my switch tax rule, it's in not quite B, def not C. I, actually, that, that sounds right to me. Th this might be controversial because I don't think it's a love or hate situation. I think it's either you appreciate and like Mario and Rabbids or you just it's not your thing and you acknowledge that. Um, for me, I really liked it. I would go as far as to say I loved it and I would easily give that an A plus. 
Oh, not S, uh, A+. Plus. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 is up there with those three indies and SS. I know it's it was full price again, but there's just so much content in that game. And it did release with all its DLC packs, the best Mario Kart. It, I can't help but put that in SS. Mario Tennis Aces was incredible for a tennis game. So I'm going to give it an, an A. Moonlighter, I have to put that up there in S almost a double S. If there was an in-between, I would possibly consider putting it there. I Now I'm seeing Dragon Quest Builders here. The way, the way that I've seen this list come together, I kind of want to move this bad boy up here. Oh, there kind of needs to be an in-between, but I'll, I'll leave it. Octopath Traveler, um, I'll give it an S. I, I love that game. I think that game is fantastic. Just visually, it's gorgeous. Uh, Gameplay-wise, I absolutely love the turn-based RPG. Story was okay and did get pretty repetitive, but it's an it's an S. Okami, I gotta give an A plus to. That game is beautiful. One Strike, again, for its price. Overcooked is great. The second one is better. Owlboy is also really good. Pac-Man, I haven't played. That I haven't played. That I haven't played. That I haven't played. Wow, that was a lot in a row I haven't played. Pokemon Tournament loses a point for Switch Tax. I, I, I don't think I would give it a B. I think it's better than a B. It's kind of in between A and B, but I'll put it in A so I don't upset too many people. Skyrim was a fantastic port. I'll give that an A. Sly Sam is, is okay. Snake Pass, um, honestly, that's probably a B, not quite a C, but it does get that extra boost point that Kamiko and Blaster Master Zero got. Snipper Clips, I never like Snipper Clips. Oh, Sonic Mania though. That one is absolutely an A+. I thought about putting it in A. I, oh, yeah, it's an A+. Oh, wow, this is exhausting. <laughs> I've gone through a lot of these. Splatoon is an A... Double S. <laughs> Bomberman, I hated. I did not like Bomberman. Messenger is another... I'll give it an A+, but I'm sure a lot of people would put that in S. Maybe even double S, and I wouldn't blame you. It's a fantastic game. Uh, that, I'll give an A. That was a really great game. Zero Drifter was pretty good for the price, um, but it's it's really budget, so C. Uh, ukulele, I will give. <laughs> are you already leaving the comment? Admit it. Are you already leaving the comment? Uh, ukulele, it, it it didn't live up to my expectations. Um, Xenoblade isn't really there. I'm just trolling. Um, it's definitely not there with One Two Switch and inevitably WWE 2K18. I have said a billion times that I, while I didn't enjoy the game, I never thought it was a bad game. I would honestly, I would honestly put it middle of the pack. I, I would put it in there with Hyrule War. Nah, maybe even, I can't give it an A. <laughs> I would take the argument if you actually enjoyed the game that it, it, it could be anywhere between B and S. Honestly, like just because I didn't enjoy it doesn't mean I don't see its quality. I would give it a B. I am noticing that the Torna, whatever it was called, I've already forgotten, isn't here. I would put Torna in A. So just imagine that's there. Um, but I, I will, I will give, I will give, yeah, I'll give it a B. I'm sure that won't make any of you feel any better, but... <laughs> now, Yee's A. Now, that's a game. That's a game worth putting in uh, A+. I really liked Yee's A. I thought Yee's A was great. Okay, uh, that's all of them. We've looped around to the ones I haven't played. So, I'm going to screenshot that. I'm going to bring it over here into my Photoshop file. These ones are ones they forgot, as I said, like Mario Party and Mario Brothers U, but also games that I've just taken a look at on my channel over the last couple of years. My Riding Stables. That is a F tier game. That game is one of the worst. Oh, and we're also missing... How did I forget about this? What 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 was it called? Arc... Yeah, that's what it was. That is absolutely an F tier game. That game ran so poorly on Switch. Like, that, it's not a reflection on the game, guys. A lot of comments I got on that video was, you, you haven't played it on PC. It's really fun. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure the game is fantastic. However, I have been told otherwise. I'm sure the game is just fine. 
it just ran so bad on the Switch. Like, WWE 2K18 still, even now, even after they patched it and they fixed it and they did nothing to change it, it's just, it's unplayable. It's literally unplayable. Yeah, second only to that game is is Ark Survival Evolved. Like, that game is, is almost unplayable. Payday 2 is an F. Um, it's not a horrible port to the system. In fact, I was really excited for it when I heard it was coming to Switch. But the port to Switch was like full price $60. It received no support. It was a very ugly looking game. And it, it, like a year or two later into its release, it didn't even get a price drop. It stayed at 60 bucks, even with the poor sales, with a dead online and with no support. The World Ends With You is an incredible game. A, a game that's up there in, I would say S tier. Um, but purely just for the terrible controls, the absolutely awful controls that literally gave me arthritis, <sighs> puts it down into B. Yeah, I'm gonna put it down into B. Uh, Starlink Battle for Atlantis, I'm surprised that wasn't on the tier list that this guy made. That gets boosted up tiers just by having Star Fox in the Switch version, and also by being the only version of the game that actually made any money and any sales whatsoever, so I'm gonna give it an A+. Nah. <laughs> I can't. It's not an A-plus game. It's an, it's an A game. It's, it's a good game, though. Listen to me when I say these words. I'm not really ranking Fortnite itself on this one. However, I did really enjoy the game for quite a few months. But it is a good game. It really is. Um, And it, it, I had good memories playing with Sean. But just because it's free and you don't have to spend any money on it whatsoever, it was a really healthy and good move for Nintendo to put that on the Switch. I'm going to give it an A. And I know that's going to be controversial because it's above Xenoblade. <laughs> I just put Fortnite above Xenoblade. Oh, please don't unsub. <laughs> Cuphead was just, it took me so much by surprise. And I, again, I have great memories of playing that game with Kim. So that's an S. Troll and I isn't as bad as the other games on the list. Mario Bros. U Deluxe. It gets knocked down one by having switch tax. So it gets knocked down another one just for being boring. So that's two. And it gets knocked down a third tier because it's not Super Mario World 3D, which was the actual good Mario Bros. game on the Wii U that wasn't ported for some reason. So usually, just because of how boring it is, I'd probably give it a B. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a C because it's not, it's not good. Uh, Mario Party. Okay, listen. I'll give it an A because it made great improvements over 9 and 10. However, it only had four boards and they were so insanely uninspired and boring. They were literally just grid-based boards. On top of that, the online, you couldn't play the board game, but you couldn't play the actual Mario Party part of the board game part of the game online with your friends. You could only play the mini games and then you could only play a selection of the mini games. And so many other people complained about it as well and Nintendo didn't fix a damn thing. So B, not quite C, you ruined it, Nintendo. You messed up your own game, I'm sorry. Let's do one, two, switch. <laughs> Let's do one two switch. Why am I not grabbing it? Where is it? Uh, one two switch is double uh, triple F. I don't feel the need to even explain that one. That game is horrendous. I wanted to add Toad because Kim loves this one. I, I, I would honestly put it around here, but just because it was just nice to watch Kim play a Switch and have a lot of fun with Toad. I'm just gonna give it an A. I, I have nice memories of that game, just watching Kim play that game. And finally, my little riding champion. I reviewed this game recently on the channel. Actually, it's probably one of my favorite videos on the channel. I actually went out and not only rode an actual horse, but groomed and took care of a horse just to see how realistic the experience was. And guess what? Very realistic. And usually I would give the game a B, maybe not quite a C, but just because of how realistic it was. An open world game with extreme extremely likable characters that could barely talk English, I'm gonna have to give it an S. It's up there with Cuphead and Octopath Traveler, and I am not sorry. <laughs> now listen, this is just my opinion. Yours is of course going to be completely different, especially with this many games, but it is a pretty good approximation to my opinion on a lot of Switch games. I did honestly have a lot of fun making this video, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. If you did, make sure you smash like on it and share it with your friends so that we can all be on the same page with best and worst Switch games. Check that link down below for my shirts and merch and stuff. <coughs> hey, so I've been writing a new song. You want to hear it? I don't have a good way to end this video.